good morning guys welcome back to life with liz if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications that way you'll be notified every time a girl posts a new video good morning guys my mom has an appointment this morning her for physical therapy and if we get out in time we're gonna head over my granddaughter adrian is receiving uh some awards this morning uh, one was citizenship and the other one was honor roll. So we want to try to make it uh, to her awards assembly. <sighs> so, you know, I was just thinking about like all the stuff that has been going on in the last week. And um, I guess that's a perfect time to kind of, I guess, educate on how important it is to do self exams. I know it's probably going to sound cliche or oh, only because it happened to you. But because it happened, not to me, but to my mom, but because it happened to her, it brought a lot of awareness. Um, I know I've told you guys that we are, um, some of us are Lynch positive. We have uh, uh, Lynch syndrome. Uh, but my mom had just had a mammogram and her mammogram came back clear. So that is why I'm saying, you know, don't just rely on the mammograms. Uh, her mammogram, she had just had one in May and in September is when she found the lump. So four months later, she found the lump. So uh, very important to do cell checks. And she said, you know, I had just thought, you know, I haven't done a self exam, you know, in a while. Let me go ahead and do it. And that's how she found the lump. So thank God. Thank God that she did that because it's um, from what I understand, there's three stages to breast cancer. There's a one, two and three. And obviously the third is the more aggressive one. It's it, you know, it um, develops really fast and then there's number two which also develops you know a little a little quickly so from the time that she found it till now it has grown a little bit more so that is why we're trying to get on top of you know getting her i'm sorry i'm making my coffee getting her seen and getting uh getting her the care that she needs like asap uh we, because we want to nip this in the bud and get it taken care of you know asap um so yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there that the self exam, breast exams are super important. Uh, even if you if you've had a mammogram and you think everything's fine, um, within the time frame for the next mammogram, it could be very crucial to check on yourself. But let me grab my cup. I'll be back. All right, so sorry, I had to grab my my stuff so I can make my coffee. My parents are on their way, but yeah, we're not totally not expecting it. But on another note, um, you know, I I let my daughters know. I let my daughters know about my mom, and I know you guys know that my oldest daughter lives in uh, Missouri, so. Um, called her and she had been talking about moving back and so she said like this was this just solidified their decision so my daughter is going to move back closer she said she wants to be around my mom and help out with my mom with whatever she can so I'm super excited because uh Currently, as we speak, my girl is on the road and her and her family will be here, if not tonight, probably tomorrow. So I'm super excited. Um, she has a four month old that I have not met yet. So I, I'm super excited to meet her and then to see all of the kids, you know, and my daughter and her husband included, but I'm just so I'm just so happy. I'm so excited. Uh, Thanksgiving is going to be great because I'm going to have all my kids here. We will be missing, obviously, you know, Art's boys. We haven't seen them in a while. Um, they live in Washington State. So, yeah. Uh, we won't have the boys here. All the girls will be here. The boys won't be here. But I'm really excited. I'm really excited for Thanksgiving now. Um, I wasn't looking forward to it. I'm not going to lie. I was a little bummed, uh, but now I'm I'm really looking forward to it. I can't wait. I can't wait to hug and kiss my my kids, my grandkids. 
I can't wait. So today is like, I feel like the anxiety already because uh, I it can't get here soon enough. They're, they're on the road. So I think like within 12 hours from when she called or text this morning, that's the arrival time. I mean, it's probably going to be more because they're going to stop, you know, with the, with the littles, but yeah. I'm super excited. I'm super excited. I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait for um, the little, little one. Her name is True. For her to be here and um, so we can introduce her to my mom so my mom can meet her. My mom, that's going to, that's going to make my mom extremely happy too. So my two older daughters are super, super close to my mom. Not that the others are not because even Gabby, even down to Gabby, I, you know, they, she loves my mom and dad, but the two older ones, um, and I was a single parent for a while. And so, you know, we were with them. And my girls uh, love my, my parents as if they were their parents as well. So, yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be nice to have everyone back. And then you guys can actually get to see her on camera. I know a lot of you guys say that she looks like me, but you guys will see that she does not. <laughs> She's beautiful, but she does not look like me. I'm not saying that I'm beautiful. I'm just saying she's very beautiful. I feel like she, we look nothing alike. Um, yeah. But then again, I could be biased because I think all my girls are beautiful. <laughs> but I'm going to get my stuff together, uh, grab my purse and whatever I'm going to take, and I'm going to head on out. I think my mom and dad are here, so I will see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. So we are here at Adrian's school. We stopped to get her a little, little gift. She, she's getting honor roll and citizenship. So um, we wanted to surprise her and support her. So we got these two coming along with us. So yeah. Sorry guys, I'm sure Adrian is gonna be super excited to see us. So we're gonna head in, we'll be back in a bit. All right guys, the awards assembly already started. We are a few minutes late because we did finish up with my mom first. I don't know if Adrian already has been called up or not. I'm trying to see where my daughter's at because she's supposed to be here already too. They just called up a couple girls, but I don't think that was Adrian. If they've already called her up, we'll just take pictures after. Hello. All right, this is honor roll. Hello, Nicole. I'm going to do honor roll. I have Ivan Tavar. Did they call her up? They did? Oh, they already called Thomas. Adrian up. All right, guys. So, unfortunately, we didn't make it to hear her name be called. Uh, but uh, her parents are here. I'm not exactly sure where she's at, but we will get to her so we can give her her gift. Robles and class. this girl got perfect attendance. We have Jasmine Bashertosh, there she is. Emma McConnell, Natalie Furiel, Scarlett Pequeno, and Bryce Thompson. And from Mrs. Swidegi's class, perfect attendance first quarter, Audrina Almaguer, Keon Evans, Justin Granados, Elizabeth Gutierrez, Oscar Iregeta Vargas, Kate Lopez Tovar, and Alma Victorino. Let's give him a big round of applause for sure. Parents, if you want to take a picture while they're up here, you're welcome to do that. And there's her there's her mom and dad. And with that being said, we appreciate you parents coming and supporting uh, your students. <laughs> Congratulations, Miss Smarty Smart. This is for you. Yeah, because they, they don't. It was too much for my mom to want. But. Hi.
I know I got excited. I didn't say hi to you guys or nothing. <laughs> Okay, baby, look. It's done right there next to Amana, pa. And then, and then real quick, that way, yeah. Go back to this is from Grandma Amana, pa. This, uh, just something. Oh, the balloons are gonna take off. Maybe we should give it to her after. Just look real quick in it. That way. Sorry. It's just a bunch of goodies. Hey, what is this? Some stuff. And some pants and some snacks. Okay, put it back so you can go back. My I want you to have some snacks, though. I don't want to Take care. Yeah. Take care. Only put it in your backpack when you get to the thing, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you to Grandma and Anna Monica. Thank you. You're, you're welcome, baby. Keep being good, okay? Keep doing great. Hi. Adrian, do you want me to take this back? Uh, I'll take it so I can show you. Hey, Adrian. Yeah, I'm going to take Hey guys, so we left uh, Adrian's awards assembly. Um, my mom and dad wanted to grab something to eat. We had pulled up to Applebee's, but it's too early. They were not open yet. So I asked them if they wanted to come to Golden Corral, which is open. They were like, yeah, let's go try it out. They've never been here. I was here when they first opened. I haven't been back in a long time, so hopefully they like it. They're, uh, they're out getting their stuff first. I always let them go first, and then I go back and get mine, so yeah. We'll see. We'll see what they come back with. <laughs> All right, guys. I got a little smorgasbord of everything. There, there is macaroni and cheese underneath the <laughs> the onion rings. A lot of veggies, some tacos. Everything's really good. Obviously, I already took a bite of my roll. It's delicious. My parents are chowing down as well. Hey, guys. So I am back home. I'm gonna start making dinner. This cabinet always opens up. I hate it. Uh, I'm going to start making dinner. I already got started. I have some water boiling here. I'm going to go ahead and add my pasta. Let me stand you guys up over here. I was trying to get my ingredients together, but I'm going to go ahead and add, go ahead and add my pasta. So I can get that going as I make the sauce. All right. And then... For the sauce, I'm gonna take about three tablespoons of butter and get that melted up. And I'm going to add six tablespoons of olive oil. Miss Gabby's back there watching Shrek, as you guys can hear. Shrek 2, as a matter of fact. She loves Shrek. All right, I'm going to let this melt down. I'll be back. All right, now that my butter is melted, I'm going to add some garlic. Lots of garlic. And I'm just going to saute that for a little bit. Let that brown up. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the onion. So I'm going to let that brown up a little bit. I'll be back. All right, guys. So my uh, my garlic isn't completely brown, but I also don't want it to burn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add my onion in there. And that way it'll continue cooking. And then uh, it'll cook my onions as well so adding some diced onion in there and I'm just going to cook that down for a few minutes and then um, my pasta was done so I went ahead and took it out so 
so I have it here. So now I'm just going to wait for the onion. All right, guys, now that I've cooked down the onion and garlic, I, and I forgot to say I did add uh, salt and black pepper uh, once I added the, the onions. <clears throat> so now I'm going to add half of a six ounce can of tomato paste. And I'm just going to go ahead and cook down the tomato paste so I can get um, the acidic flavor out of it. I'm going to go ahead and let this cook down. I, I was going to fast forward it. I, I mean, I'm, I will, that little part, but it's still got quite a, quite a bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish cooking this off. I'll be back. All right, guys. So I cooked this down for about four minutes. And now I'm going to add about three tablespoons of vodka. I used Tito's. And I'm going to let this cook down for about five minutes. So I'm going to let this go. I'll be back. Alright guys, now that this, the vodka has cooked out of the sauce, I'm going to go ahead and add uh, heavy cream. And I'm going to mix that up. I will mix it. I'm going to taste it for um, salt, pepper, see if it needs any of that stuff. I am going to add some red pepper flakes to this, but I'm going to go ahead and let this uh, cook down a little bit first. So I'll be back. All right, so I did taste it. I'm going to go ahead and add a little more black pepper, a little salt. I'm going to add a tiny little bit of red pepper flakes and I'm going to go ahead and get that mixed up and let it start um, warming up. That way all the flavors can really get mixed in there. Alright guys, so the, the sauce is just about ready. Uh, well, the sauce is ready. I'm going to add I just added half a cup of Parmesan cheese. I'm going to add that and I'm going to add the pasta in. And I'll go ahead and get that mixed up. another half a cup so one cup in total of parmesan cheese All right. and then I'm just going to mix this up and I am going to add a little pasta water to this as well and sorry about that I'm going to add a little pasta water as well, and then I'm going to let this simmer for just a few minutes. All right. So let me go ahead and grab that pasta water. I guess I should put it in this big one. about a cup of pasta water. So I'm gonna let that go and let that thicken up again. 
and then it should be ready to go. All right, I'm just going to mix this up. I'm going to taste it again for salt, and I think it should be good. I'll be back. All right, guys, so this is Miss Gabby's plate. I topped it off with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And Art has Parmesan cheese, but I did get um, the little chili red pepper flakes. Homemade. And so mine has Parmesan cheese as well, but I'm going to add a little bit of the red pepper flakes as well. Oh, you know what? My bad. You're stupid. You better not rub your eye later. How is it? It's really good. Yeah. You like it, Miss Gabby? This one called? Uh, it has vodka in it. I think it's a vodka sauce. Mm. Pasta a la vodka, I think is what it's called. Okay. I think I feel the buzz already. <laughs> it cooked off. How do you feel, Gabby? <laughs> I think she's drunk already. Are you even eating, Miss Gabby? Here, let me help you. You want me to cut it up for you? Yeah. You gotta go like this, look. Look. Stab it, like that. There, there you go, go girl. Look at you. Okay, try it. Mm. Do you like it? There you go. Mm. For my lady. You got one too, there? Mm -hmm. Okay. What time, <clears throat> what time is uh, Gingy getting out at nine? Mm. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and try mine. Mm. Mm. Yummy. It's really good. <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna we're gonna finish eating. We'll be back. Hey guys, so dinner was delicious. Everyone loved it. It was really, really good. I was pleasantly surprised. It was it was really good. Definitely got to make that again. It was easy and everybody loved it. So definitely a, a winner uh, for us. So my daughter still has not made it, but she should be here in the next couple of hours. So uh, I am going to get go ahead and get ready for bed because it's getting late but um i will keep you guys posted uh, when she gets here so that does conclude today's video make sure to comment like share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thanks for watching guys till next time